Hello Internet, this is Sam Messman with We Make Movies here once again, and what I'm going to show you today is a really cool way to make your entire sound effects library searchable within Final Cut 10. So what I want you to do first is go ahead and open iTunes by alt clicking it. You have to hold down option or alt when you open it, and a dialog box is going to open up instead of your regular iTunes library and basically what this process is is you're going to have to make a new iTunes library where you're gonna put all of your sound effects and those are gonna live separately from your music and some of the other things this is gonna make your life a little bit easier as it's not gonna interfere with your regular iTunes library so go ahead and, and click create library and then I'm gonna call mine SFX underscore O2 and this is gonna make a new library in this case my movies folder and I'm gonna push save and iTunes is gonna open up to a brand new library you won't see any of your music or any of that other stuff it's just gonna be a fresh new library that's gonna live in my case my movies folder and now I'm gonna go click on my external drive and I'm gonna find my entire sound effects library and it's broken down into six folders which have six different sound effects collections but before I start making these folders into playlists in iTunes, I need to change something in my preferences first. So go into the advanced tab of the preferences and uncheck copy files to iTunes media folder when adding to library. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want iTunes to copy 500 gigs of sound effects onto my internal hard drive. It won't fit and I want them to stay where they are. So anyway, let's go ahead and start making playlists and bringing in our sound effects collections. So the first playlist I'm going to make is based on my first sound effects collection and I'm going to rename it to brochure underscore SFX. And with that playlist selected, I'm simply going to go right into the finder and I'm going to select that folder and I'm just going to drop it right into iTunes. And iTunes is going to make a playlist with every single sound effect in that folder and this process is actually really simple as all you're gonna have to do from here is make a new playlist for each of your different sound effects collections and then just simply drag those folders into each new playlist and what that's gonna do is it's going to make each of those sound effects collections searchable within Final Cut 10 when we open it later Anyway, give this process a little bit of time as it's going to take iTunes a while, especially if you, look, if you have large sound effects collections to bring them all in. But once you have, and you have all of your different playlists in there, there's only one more step before we go and open up Final Cut. And that's to go into the file menu of iTunes and select add new playlist folder. And what you want to do now is drag each of your sound effects playlists that you just made into this folder and what that's going to allow you to do is it's going to make either all of your sound effects or just an individual playlist within Final Cut searchable. So it'll just give you a little bit more control over what you're doing um, when you're searching for your sound effects. Anyway, when you're done with that, let's go ahead and jump into Final Cut. And once you're there, if you go into your music and sound browser, you will see that that SFX02 playlist folder we made is now there. And if you click the disclosure triangle, you'll see that all of the playlists that we added are there as well. And if you type in with the playlist folder selected, Fire, you'll see that you get a ton of results. And then if you click on each of the individual sound effects collections, it'll show you the results from each of those collections in your search. You can then click the play icon to listen to each of the different sound effects and when you find one you like you can go ahead and grab it and drag it right into the timeline. And I can speak from personal experience that this has made finding and using sound effects within my projects so much faster than it used to be in Final Cut 7. And I love the fact that I no longer have to do all these crazy finder searches or look in sound effects databases or CDs um, and that I now have all of my sound effects searchable right within my NLE and I can just drag and drop right in there. It speeds up the process so much and it's one of the really cool features in Final Cut 10 and all it takes is just a little bit of prep on your part to get it to work. 
And one last little note before I go, if you do want to include your sound effects libraries in with your music, you certainly can. And if you want to switch back to your library, all you need to do is option click iTunes again and select that library and then you can get access to all of your music and stuff. Uh, basically the key concept to remember is that option clicking iTunes when you open it will allow you to select or create new iTunes libraries that you can then use and customize depending on your situation and your needs. So anyway, I hope you guys got something out of this and it makes your lives as editors and colorists a little bit easier as well. And also, um, all the steps from this tutorial have been posted in the description below and if you have any questions or things you notice that you want to add to this workflow, post them in the comment section and I'll try and get back to you. At the end of the day, the goal here is to make all of this stuff as seamless and easy as possible, and I'd love your feedback on how to make it all better. And if you watch this and it all went totally over your head or you just don't feel like doing it, well, this is what I do for a living, so feel free to hire me either to consult on your movie or to finish your film for you if that's what you need. So if you want to get in touch, just drop me an email over at sam at wemakemovies.org. And lastly, if you're wondering what this whole We Make Movies thing is, Check us out over at WeMakeMovies.org, or if you live in L.A. or Toronto, sign up for our newsletter, and then come to one of our events. I'll see you guys next time. And cut! <laughs>